Hi everyone. Welcome back to Tara's Take. I've missed you. <laughs> oh, I miss you guys when I don't video for a couple of days. Um, it's nice to be able to work on other stuff, but I do miss you guys. So today we're going to play with making a tea bag journal. I saw this was made by Kylie Koo Studio a couple of years ago, and I ran across the video, fell in love with the idea. So we're just going to play and bring back um, her idea. So I, what I have here is some square tea bags, okay? She had the kind in her video, and I'll link it in, in the description below. Um, and if I don't, remind me, you guys. You know how I forget, and I apologize. Um, she had cut hers. There was like a, what did she call it, a gossamer like fold or something. I don't remember. But anyway, mine do not have that. So what I'm doing is I decided to go, uh, they're kind of not a rectangle, but they're not, completely a square either this top part is a little more narrow I mean like it's more of a vertical and then this is more of a horizontal and I wanted it to have some height so I'm trimming mine off the top so that I can have some um, little pockets okay and you could also turn it to the side and it will be a see it's it's it is a slightly different size um, yeah, if you cut off the top, then you turn it on the side, it's almost the same. And what I was going to say is you could have little side pockets as well. Okay, so if you wanted to do it like that. So what I'm doing is just getting all the tea, and I'm using clean tea bags. These have not been wet down prior. They are clean. And I am just going along that top edge and evenly as possible trimming off that edge and then putting the tea in here. Because I couldn't have my garbage can. She saves her tea. I guess she puts it in the compost. And then also during the video, she made a cup of tea. I do not have all of the the fun stuff she had. She is um, from the UK, I believe, and or Australia. Wanted to. She had uh, her little tea cup with a. You know, she could make it right there on the table, and she did the whole tea cup with everybody, and it was really cool. Um, we are not doing that. <laughs> so. <laughs> So sorry. Um, anyway, so I'm using eight tea bags. She used six. I wanted mine to be a little bit bigger. Oops, I went a little off there. She wanted hers to be six. I'm going to do eight. You can do them as big or as small as you want. Okay? So, so how is everyone? I don't know what day this video is going to go up because I do believe I'm going to be changing my video days. I only made it one week with you guys at four days in a row. Um, I didn't go in and change the date on the settings for this week. However, because this is Monday, January 23rd, I believe. Yeah, 23rd. Um, that I'm filming this. But this will probably go up next week. Uh, or at the end of this week. I may go ahead and run it for Saturday. I'm not sure. We'll see. But... I am definitely changing the days. I miss you guys too much when we're apart for three days in a row. So, um, I, I got a suggestion from Sherry. Thank you, Sherry. Um, and I think she might be right. She was saying, you know, you have a loyal following of the people that follow you. But to put myself out there and maybe catch a few new subbies that don't see me as often, not to post on the days when all like the big channels post their videos, which is mainly Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, um, or Fridays, you know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I, I think what I will do is try Mondays and Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And then that way we're only apart on Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. And so, <laughs> so there'll only be one day between videos, you know, because this whole three days between videos, I had people messaging me, um, commenting and messaging me privately saying, okay, I missed you. And I was like, I missed you too. <laughs> yeah, can't have that. I don't know. I just can't do that. So this is fun. I've got all this tea in my little container if I wanted to try and figure out how to make it like that, but I don't have any anything to do that with. So, Okay, so what I have underneath here and what you guys are going to need today is you're going to need some tea bags, you're going to need some greaseproof paper or as we call it here, wax paper. 
Um, I'm using wax paper to, you'll see in a minute, I'm going to be Mod Podging on top of these and kind of getting a nice leathery texture on them. Um, and then after that, we're going to use some distress inks. We're going to use, I'm going to use some of my paper dolls. I'm going to use fussy cuts to decorate with. I don't know. I might use some lace. This is going to be a little mini journal and it's, there's no sewing. You don't have to sew, but if you wanted to sew, you could. Um, but I'm going to be gluing these together. So it'll kind of be like this little journal, you know, and these are cute to go into your larger journals and they're just a fun little, um, what do they call that when they're, it's very, um, I can't even think of the word. Oh my goodness. You guys, I'm horrible. I cannot think of all these words I should know that we use in these videos. Um, interactive. There we go. I thought of it. It's, they're very interactive. Uh, so, and people love that, you know, it's a lot of fun. So I'm going to grab my Mod Podge and I'm going to use matte or should I use satin? I love my satin Mod Podge, but I'm almost out. Um, I think I'll use the, the satin just because I like it a lot and I think it makes things look pretty. Okay, and I'm just going to grab me a little, my little favorite brush I have over here for this kind of stuff. Okay, and get to work. So we're going to cover, we're going to cover this and it's just going to kind of give it, you know, a little seal. Um, We'll have to pause for these to dry, of course, which is fine, but I like them. I just, I think you guys are going to like them too. I really do. I think you're going to be like, Ooh, that's fun. And this kind of goes through and when it's done, um, you know, I didn't catch how she didn't seem to have any problem opening it after she had sealed it. So I'm going to, I'm going to trust the process and I'm just going to do it how she did it. Uh, she just painted on the top and it's going through, of course, because it's just a tea bag and getting on the back as well, because you can see it's on this too. So yeah, and I'm just going to sit them there around the edges and let them dry and hopefully I'll be able to open them. She opened hers fine. So like I said, I'm going to trust the process and not worry about it because I didn't see her. She did not. I watched the video a couple of times and I didn't see her put anything uh, like between the bag on the inside, you know, to the other side or anything like that. So I'm thinking that, you know, she just did it and I'm going to do the same. Yeah. These are super cute you guys. I think you'll like them. And I told you there was going to be more tea bag play to come because I have been looking at them and thinking about it. And then also going and checking on videos like this one and seeing different ideas and had, you know, a couple of my own ideas and I'm like, okay, so this is fun. I did dye my, um, I dyed some tea dyed paper. I had a great result. Uh, you know, your paper, I gotta be honest. I think at least for me, paper works, dyeing your paper works so much better if you just, you know what? I think I have nine of them here. Oh, well, um, I didn't mean to have nine of them. Um, I think paper works so much better when you just put it in your dye and forget about it for a minute. You know, I have a tendency because of the way I dyed my tea paper, tea paper before it never turned out right. And I didn't like tea dyeing because I thought, Oh, I don't get a good result. Well, I think the reason I didn't get a good result is because I was rushing the process. So what I did this time was I made the tea water and mostly did it to dye my tea bags. And then I just let that water sit in with the tea bags in it, first of all, forever. So the water got really dark and then it was cold. It wasn't hot or anything. So I didn't worry about that. But then when I did put the paper in, I left it in all night long. Um, I don't know if other people do that. I don't usually do that. But lately I have been, I did it with my avocado dyeing and I did it with my last coffee dye job too. And I've just, I've had the best results. So if you can stand, unless you're absolutely out of paper, you know, just because I mean, let's be honest, if you paper dyed once, it's no longer that exciting after the fact. I mean, it's fun when you're doing like doing it with the lace finals and stuff, I think. But, but if you're just doing basic dyeing, 
you know it's really it's not all that exciting after you've done it a while so you're just kind of like oh I've got to dye some paper and you do and so this I've been able to more let it go and not get so stoked about it and so now I'm getting these amazing results so yeah I had I did some tea dyeing and got beautiful papers out of it really excited about that um, and now we're and I'm just on a tea bag kick. I'm I'm kind of I'm also going to be doing some stuff with index cards. So if I just bought some white ones. I've been wanting to play with some because I've been watching Chinooki art. Oh gosh, I just stuck my elbow. <laughs> I've been watching um is her name Shauna on Chinooki art and I love her, love her, love her. Um and she does of course the index cards and she sells them in her shop and they're just fun abstract kind of art journaling, I mean, mixed media type cards, but I did not have any white cards. And so I went and I got some. And so we're going to be playing with these soon, maybe this week. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'm going to pause this, let these little guys dry and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. So what I went in and watched the video again, and what these are for, the ones we just did the Mod Podge on, these are for our tags. Okay. So I went in and cut down some more of the tea bags okay and so we are going to continue to just let these guys dry on the side and <laughs> I was like something's wrong these are glued shut I knew they would be I don't know I was saying I'd trust the process but the process was taking me in the wrong direction <laughs> so anyway now we're gonna play with some uh, distress ink and we're gonna just do some fun and I'm thinking she did like browns and stuff. I don't know. I was kind of thinking it'd be fun to do uh, the vintage photo. And where is my vintage photo? I've lost it. It is here. It has to be here <clears throat> somewhere. I'm always tidying up. And then I look up and everything I, I use all the time is put away somewhere. Okay. Got to find it. Sorry, guys. Huh. Hold on one sec. I found it. Okay. So I have the tea dye. I don't know. I'm going to look at this. I'm going to start out with the antique linen and I'm just going to put some here on this right here. Where's my spray bottle? Get that wet. We just want to kind of, um, her goal was to give it kind of a a look you know like the tea bags have been used which is great and it was really adorable and everything but I'm thinking I might add in a little bit of color with the salvage patina um, but first we're just gonna kind of yellow them a little bit okay and I'm wondering I never ever use my antique linen like I've had it for Oh my goodness for a year and it's just been in there and yeah I never use it I don't know why I just <coughs> I got it <coughs> thinking I would and then I don't know I just didn't so we're gonna yellow these a little bit and then we're gonna take and use some vintage photo and do some browning maybe some of the tea dye I might try that a little bit too uh, and I do, I think I'm just, I've been in a teal mood, you know, kind of a, a lot of teal, like you saw my kit, I just did. Um, and so I'm thinking that I'll just enjoy putting a few abstract kind of colors of teal running through it too. I think that'll look pretty. I love the teal with the browns. I know some of you do too, because you told me when you saw the kit in our Facebook group. I think I'm running out of water. And I'm just tapping it in there, nothing special, you guys. Um, it really is as easy as it looks. Okay, a little bit more water, and then 
we'll move on to the next color. Now this is the tea dye. I was just wanting to try it and see. Yeah, this little journal is so cute when she's done with it that I I fell in love. I thought, I've got to give that a try, you know, and see if I can make something that cute and tiny. It's a little, I mean, it's so little, but <coughs> just perfect for a junk journal edition, you know, to go into a fun pocket or you know, you know how we do. I'm wondering, because these are wet. Yeah, I was thinking, maybe I'll just do it this way. This is much faster. Much, much faster. Like I said, because they're wet. Maybe it's too dark. Let's see. I did want to try and get some a little bit darker. Just kind of okay. So you guys get the idea, you know. I don't know if I should have just used the vintage photo. I don't know. The the tea dye looks kind of orangey to me, like a rust almost. I think I, I kind of like the vintage photo better. It gives it those darker spots, you know. just use my spray, <laughs> my oxide spray. That would might be even quicker. Well, you guys get the, you get the point of what this is, you know, supposed to be. It's just aging it, making it look like we used it a little bit and okay. All right. So we're going to let these dry and I'll be right back. I realized I didn't put any of the salvage patina. So I'm just coming in and kind of tapping in some color. I just wanted it in the mix, you know, not heavily. But enough that you can see it. I do love the, the the teal with the brown, I think it just really adds something. I know it's not your normal tea dye, but you know, this is my little journal and it can have, <laughs> it can have salvage patina in it if I want it to, right? I was so excited today, you guys. I know it's silly. If you saw my Instagram, you saw I finally posted a reel. I have never, uh, and it's not because I'm I'm like a Luddite or anything, believe me, with computers. I'm not. I just don't, I haven't taken the time to really go in and figure out how to do all this stuff because, I don't know, I, I'm not, ever since my heart situation, I've kind of gotten a little tireder and it's just harder for me to go in and have the energy to do everything, like all of it done, you know? Um, and so I, 
I, I just haven't gone in and figured it out. And today I did. I finally went in. I did a little video, tiny little short video, and went in and figured out how to post it as a reel. <laughs> and then I also posted it in our Facebook group um, as a test run to see if I could do it in there too. <laughs> so yeah, I haven't looked to see anybody's comments or anything right now. I've, I'm still, I just, I jumped in and started doing the video and now I'm like, uh, I thought I just, I don't know. I just thought about it and remembered what I had done. I'm like, Oh yeah, I need to tell you guys cause I'm just so excited. I actually did a reel. <laughs> I know that's probably pretty silly cause we see those constantly all day long. They're the easiest thing in the world and it was super easy. Okay. So now I'm going to let these dry, clean up my mess a little bit and I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm back. So now we're going to go and we're going to make sure that all these little guys open, which they are so far. And mine look really, I think it's probably the teal I put in, but or the salvage patina. However, uh, also she, she only used the antique linen and the vintage photo on hers. And I used tea, tea dye and salvage patina as well as antique linen. But I noticed that mine are very tie-dye looking, which I don't know, could be considered fun. It could be considered not, I don't know. But I think overall the, the little journal is going to be cute when it's all said and done. Now, these are not totally, totally dry. I, they are a little bit moist um, in the middle, just slightly, but not anything too bad. And I'm just going in and making sure that everybody opens because these are our little pockets for our little tags. So yeah. And we will do something with our tags here in just a second. But first we're going to glue these little guys together. And like I said earlier, you could cut these and then glue them together. I wanted mine to be a little bit taller and a little bit, I wanted the width to be where I glued it together. So I'm going to be using this uh, side here and you're going to take two at a time and you're going to bring in some glue. Now let me get my glue to open up, of course, because and on some aspects of this, I'm going to be, um, like when we're decorating, I'm going to be using my glue stick somewhat because it is very thin, the tea bag, and the glue will go through and glue your pocket shut. Um, that was something in her video she made a uh, point to mention, and I want to make sure I mention as well. When we get to that point, I will make sure and point it out again. But for right now, we're just going to run a low, a very small line of glue, okay, down the side. And then we're going to take this little guy and we're going to just put it on here as evenly as possible. Um, we use that wider side, okay, oopsie, from bottom to top. I'm noticing mine's cut a little. Either I'm a little off on my gluing or it's a little cut off, but there we go. But it's okay. And you have two little pages, okay? And then we're going to do that again. Now what I'm seeing on mine is that one side of mine is wider than the other. So I'm trying to utilize that side for my gluing. Um, I did that here. I'm Oh, you know what I did? I did a little bit of both, I think, on the first one. Huh, should I use the thinner side so that that way there's more room on the edge? So it's wider. Yeah, I'm going to use my thinner side. Sorry about that. I don't know if that's just my bags or... I'm using celestial tea bags, um, herbal tea bags that are in the bag that's like open bag. And just the squares. They're not in packaging and stuff. Okay. And I'm using art glitter glue to bring them together because I want it to, I want them to glue pretty quick. And this one I'm noticing is cut kind of uneven. By the way, Pamela, if I don't remember to mention you had asked me I'm sure I'll answer your comment, but just in case you don't see my response or I noticed today you asked, these are from Ikea. 
They are Ikea and they come in a package like this, these three pair, okay? It's the one, the middle, the large, medium, and small. And I just don't really like the smaller ones. I use the larger ones. But these are the Tina scissors, okay? Ikea. Okay. I just remembered when I looked at them, so I thought I'd mention it. I figure you might see this just in case. Sometimes I don't get the responses on my, like if somebody answers me on one of my comments, I don't always see it. <laughs> Because I've got all those notifications and it gets lost. So just in case it got lost, Pamela, I wanted you to know. <laughs> and then I'm going to do this last one. This is cut, you know, uneven too. Pretty uneven. Like noticeably. I don't really think it matters though. This is more of a fun little additive to your journal. It's, um, I mean, it could be something you give as a little gift or something. But uh, for me, these are going to go as like a unique little trinket, you know in my journal to play with so I'm not real worried about absolute perfection on these plus they just look cute in their own little way and okay all right so now we are going to do what we do sometimes when we see I did I glued this one with the larger middle but that's all right I'm not gonna worry about it um now we're going to go down the center again and this is just like we do our paper when we do no so little notebooks, pads, and stuff I've shown you before, and you just glue it down that line. Make sure it's even. Again, as even as possible. And then, oh, my Amazon just came. I have my cat food and my litter coming today, and I heard a really loud, uh, somebody just put something down really loud in that cat box. The cat litter box is like 50 pounds or 45 pounds or something. We get one of those big double boxes. Yeah. So as you can see, mine is not perfect. Okay. And that just means I trimmed them. And I cut them a little bit crooked. My own doing. I can even that out when I'm done here. Because these, these dry pretty quick too. I actually, the more I'm looking at my little uh, color scheme here on these, I, I'm kind of liking it. It looks very earthy, very outdoorsy kind of look, like a botanical type, you know. Now I'm going to trim just a little bit here because I am so uneven on that part. Okay. All right, now, so now what you want to do is, as you can see, this can be your little spine, but what we're going to do while it's still damp is, or at least I am, you can leave that if you want that spine there, but I want mine to be a little bit flatter. Okay, and I can see that my edges here, this is the thicker part of the tea bag so I'm going to go ahead and trim it. It won't it won't hurt it. It's just evening it out a little bit. So there's my little journal and these are my little pockets. Okay. And there you go. All right. So now we're going to work on these little guys. And these are going to be our little tags that go inside of here, inside these little pockets. Okay? So we have to get these to fit because of course they're still the width now we can cut this so it's higher and cut the sides off and leave this top part so it sticks out or we can take it and make it the same height and then I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do that and then put little tabs actually I might just put it sideways and then put little tabs anyway you know what I mean because these are glued shut like I said um, we got these are nice and sealed. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to trim this off and see how that fits. And if I still need to cut it further, I will. I think I might because this is kind of, yeah, I think I'm going to still need to cut it a little bit more. And 
and I'm gonna leave mine straight across I'm not gonna uh, you know edge it because like I said I, I really liked something that she did in hers which she took uh, little tabs of fabric and she made it um, go like each one almost like a file system you know and see now I'm not sure if I like it coming out or not because I can still trim that off if I choose to you know huh so I'm gonna go ahead and use this as my guide and trim these down a little bit and I'm just putting that in the center and trimming it wait a minute am I wrong I think I'm wrong oh yeah here we go I must have cut it there we go okay I'm just gonna use it like that uh -huh. So, like I said, whatever works best for you, however you want yours to look, like everything in our world, this is subjective. You can do it the way that you want them to look, you know. Um, the fun part with these is that, oh, I left that one. I didn't mean to do that. Um, the fun part with these is that you've got this cool uh, little... it's kind of leathery tag that's going to go in it's it's much tougher because it's got the the mod podge on it um somehow i screwed up this one i'm not sure what i did but i stuck it in the way i was doing it was like this and i guess yeah i ended up i shouldn't have cut the side the way i did this one's going to be a little bit thinner because i'm going to take this, this off I guess they don't all have to be the same size, right? You know? <laughs> Leave it to me. It's okay. Probably somebody out there was watching me going, Tara, don't cut it right like that. No, that's wrong. I know you guys by now. You guys know me. I'm always doing something. <laughs> but I'm okay with it. Happy accidents, right? That's what we always say. That's how you guys tell me, and it's true. You're right. Sometimes you have to remind me. Happy accidents. Don't worry about it. So one of them will be a little thinner than the rest. It's really not that big a deal. Now I'm on a roll here. And then after this, we're going to do um, a little bit of distressing on the tags so that they look... I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to do it, she had done it basically the same way as before, like this. I think I'm going to do it more directly onto with a brush with my vintage photo and then come on it with maybe some of my salvage patina and give it a little more uh, depth possibly. We'll see. I don't know if that's going to work, but I'm going to try it that way first and see because doing it with all the wetting down and everything. Now, the reason that she did it that way, uh, doing the Mod Podge first, was because that kept her, um, I just noticed my Mod Podge didn't quite stick right here on this one. Um, the reason she did it that way was because it made sure that her ink did not leak. Yeah, for some reason, this one doesn't have the whole thing is sealed down. So we're going to have to let this one dry again. I'll just hit it on both sides to make sure. Okay. Um, anyway, yeah. She did it that way because how the distress ink will move when it touches the Mod Podge. That's why. So, and I can see her point. But I was thinking I would use my little brush and maybe edge you know, distress it kind of like this because I just really don't want to sit here and dip the whole thing again, you know. And you can decorate these little guys. What is that? 
you can decorate your little taggies and uh, let me see. I just kind of wanted to have some of it flowing through, not really dominating or anything, just just there, you know. Just some teal in the background because I am going to decorate my tags. <coughs> So instead of making you watch this whole thing, I am going to pause and finish distressing all of these. Let that little guy dry and do him, and then I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. So I went ahead and did all of these and got them. Um, I'm just kind of streaking a little more of the teal on them. I like that streaky look. Uh, I just kind of think it's fun. And it's going to be background. Like I said, these will be little, these will be decorated and probably stamped maybe with some script or collaged on a little bit, you know, all that good stuff. So, but, um, all I did was go after I kind of went over them with that brush, I just, just took in and went with, um, this and just distressed. Hey guys. Okay. So we missed a couple of things. All I did was go in and do some stamping. My camera ran out of space and I didn't realize it. So <laughs> I apologize um, for that because I caused you guys to miss. I was just stamping a few of the pages I did from the mushroom kit with Tim Holtz. Um, I did that one because I thought it looked cute on the coloring and everything because it was so botanical colored, you know. I just thought that would be cute. So then I was just coming in with a little bit of script, kind of around, the, just here and there. And this thing is covered in ink, and I'm getting it everywhere. Can you see? <laughs> of course you, you can see. Of course you can see. <laughs> Constantly embarrassing myself. <laughs> I'm so unprofessional. I want to be professional, but I'm just not. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, well, it's life. It's just life, right? Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm just looking to see if I want to use anything else. I think I'm good. What I was going to do was possibly um, a tiny bit of, like, collaging. I've got more Tim Holtz stuff. This is turning into a... This is turning into a Tim Holtz... Uh, tea bag <laughs> journal, <laughs> junk journal. That's funny. That's okay, right? It's kind of fun. We love Timmy. Okay. And cover this up so I don't ruin it. Okay. So I have my little tags, and what I did as well was I trimmed them down a little bit thinner, um, as you can probably see, and uh, because. They were not quite fitting into their slots because of the gluing of the spine. It brought that in a little bit and kind of just, it just caused it to be awkward. I couldn't get them in there well, so that was all. But what I was thinking was I have all these fun and they kind of go perfect with something like this. And then I have these little botanical type, um, things over here and I don't know I just thought maybe I could collage a little bit with a few pieces throughout and you know just kind of have a little fun okay and then I've got these two and these are really cute <clears throat> I've got some tiny ones that would look good and now for all of this I decided I was going to use my um, glue stick because I agree with with the person I watched uh, Ky Kylie's anyway I can't think of her name I apologize um, but she had mentioned that she thought it would be better to use the glue stick for the tea bags because the glue will go through um, on these pages you know and so we don't want that so let me see where's my I need my little oh Tara honey anyway we're just going to, oh, you know what? This one's more like a plan. It doesn't even have anything on it. This little guy is good. I'll use him. He's a butterfly or a moth. 
And I was just going to go ahead and do a little bit of uh, collaging on the front of them on these or on these pages, and then maybe on top put our little a couple of our little paper dolls throughout. You know, just for fun. So I'm going to go ahead and put down some pieces on here. Make sure it's not going through and sticking for me. I don't want that. I'm using the Scotch Creative Permanent Glue Stick. This should work just fine. And then I have my little paper dolls here, and I was thinking if I used if I used the kids. She looks like she's sitting on there. <laughs> If I use the kids here, I, they're short enough that I can kind of um, make them fit, you know. I have, let's see, these cute little boys, look at them. Now, I went through um, the other day and I actually got a new pack and I sorted through and separated all of the more modern pictures. Oh my gosh, I love this little girl. I can't use her first thing. She's the only one I have. I love her so much. And this one. Um, but anyway, I went through and sorted and got all of the, the um, what do you call it, the modern ones out and all the more vintagey ones I kept in another bag so that I could just find them easier. Um, yeah, I was kind of tired of digging for and keep running into like the more uh, older, or I mean the more modern people. I just wanted it to be easier to get to. Now I'm also thinking that I will use and I don't know how good this is going to work, but I'm going to give it a try just because I want to, let's see, and I'm going to use my brush I usually use. I'm not going to use that one and just see if I can lightly do a base here for the, the paper doll to stand on without getting it super wet, which I did do it. Thank you, Lord. And that way she's got, you know, kind of some ground she's standing on. Okay. And I think I'm going to put her on the front. I'm wondering how, yeah, I'm worried about using the art glitter glue that it'll go through and get on the other side and seal my pocket. I don't want it to close up my pocket, so I'm just going to. Do it this way. And of course, now I have so much glue on her. I inadvertently tapped her into the glue, so that's no good. It kind of threw me off because I was going along, and then I checked the camera and realized that I hadn't been filming. Thank goodness it was only a few minutes, um, so you didn't miss. You only missed me stamping. That was it. So, yeah. And that was very irritating, though. <laughs> I'll be honest. <clears throat> now, I'm going okay. I don't know. I've had these pieces here and never really knew where I was going to use them. I don't do a ton of botanical type stuff and it's funny because I love seeing it in other people's work but I don't think to do it as often and so this time I thought you know what I'm gonna try to do something centered more around outdoorsy look than I normally do I think I'll leave that one blank and do something on this side I didn't want to do something on every single page um, let me see there we go. There's a moth with some green around this edge. I love this kit.
Oops. Okay. Let me make sure I'm still open. Doing good. So far, so good. Yay. Okay, good. And let's do a couple more of these little guys. They're so fun. These little Tim Holtz. I don't even know. Little adverts and stuff and little signs. And I love them. I think they're so adorable to collage with. I love collaging with these. Just adding them here and there. Can you hear that thump, thump, thump? My neighbor has got the stereo going. Or somebody's come to his house who has their stereo going. Okay. Now, I was thinking, one of our little guys here, if I could put something like right here he could lean on and then that would look kind of cute, right? Let's see here. That's too tall. Hmm. What about that? That'd be cute. Yeah. I've just got everything falling everywhere. Oh. I'm just going to grab it on my brush. I want to see if I can... Oh, that's way too much. I knew it. I knew it. Too much water. Did it go all the way through? Nope. It's good. Okay. I left too much water on it. So, note to self, don't do that. <laughs> okay. And by the way, thank you so much for all of your kind comments about mine and Cordy's testimony. You guys are the best to talk to. I love you and I love sharing with you and I don't ever want to bore you. But when one of you asks me if I will retell a story that I've told before, I, I, I feel like I need to do that to make sure that, you know, everybody gets to hear the story. So thanks for your patience in that. And just your acceptance and love about our testimony. I know it's, you know, if if you're looking at it, from a worldly standpoint, it's a kind of an odd story, but it's not very often <laughs> that you see our situation happen. Now I've got so much glue on my fingers from my glue stick. I'm trying to make sure I get this little guy in the right spot. I want to look like he's leaning and still standing on that ground there. And again, I've got glue everywhere. We have to come back in with our brown. It wipes because it's water, you know, soluble. It wipes away or reactive. It wipes away when I wash it. So there's that page, and then we open here. And there's that, and now that. And I think I'm just going to leave this little scene, you know, going across. Okay, and then I'm going to decorate this side. And I do think I'm going to use this this time. I think this is pretty cute, these butterflies. If you hear a little yipping, it's my dog. She is napping and going <laughs> in her sleep. <laughs> okay. I'm just making sure my camera's there. Okay. I had 36 minutes on the other uh, part of this that I'm going to have to sync to this part, um, the first video. So I'm just, let's see, we're at 13 minutes. So 36, we're at 48 minutes or so. So still good. 
There's that one. Okay. And let's see. Let me see. Let me see. A little. I think I'll use this. these little guys boy that glue just does not want to stand up it just constantly falls over on my desk okay. oh I should have put the glue on the other one first but oh well it's okay I'm not gonna worry about it At this point, I'm just concerned about getting as much of this decorated as I can. And these little guys, I may do another video and do the tags. I don't know. <laughs> I could do that, I guess, right? We could do them in separate videos. We don't have to do the whole project in one video. My fingers look awful. They are, look at that. Oh my gosh, that's ugly. I look like my skin is coming off and it's really just glue and ink. I don't even think it is my skin. I'm sorry. I just had to wipe this off real quick. Oh, goodness sake. Whew. Anyway, don't look much better, but... Okay. It's all this glue stick. It gets stuck to me. I'm going to turn this little guy that way. Now, first I'm going to put the glue and on her. And Oh, geez, I got it everywhere. Look at me. There we go. Oh, I didn't give her a base either, did I? Uh, Tara. Oh, honey. Now, remember, not too much water. Just damp. Okay, now we'll put her down. Okay. I need a little bit more down because she's taller. I'm going to have to bring her a little bit lower than the others. Okay. Now, hopefully I still have enough wet glue on here to get her to stay. There we go. I just thought it would be fun to have the kids in this little thing and... Uh, Gotta be careful. Make sure you're not gluing it together. It's very easy to do. Okay. Now I'm gonna run some of this over her. Okay. Oh my gosh, dear. Now how much more do I have? I shouldn't have made this with so many pages, I guess. <sighs> you know what? I was thinking right now, it look kind of cute is to also, because of the color of some of the stuff, also distress with the patina around some of the edges. That would look pretty. I didn't think about it until right now. since it's a, one of the parts of the backdrop. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I did not use any gold stick on this. Oh, and that reminds me, the other day on Saturday when I went to the baby shower, which turned out to be beautiful, by the way. Um, but I'm not going to tell you about that yet. I'll tell you about it on Monday in the mask make, it, which I will not be making until the end of the week. Um, anyway, 
I went to Hobby Lobby for a few minutes and uh, and then I went over to Michael's. Um, but Hobby Lobby, I ended up getting their last package. I don't know if they're not going to be selling it anymore or what, but they had a, one of their red clearance tags on it. It was uh, my glue sticks, the quick sticks. Not the Orly brand I got the last time on Amazon, but the quick sticks and the tall skinny ones. And I got it for $1.40. Um, yeah, it was like $4 off because it's five, almost $6.00. And uh, I was bummed though, because I'm like, oh my gosh, are they gonna not be selling these anymore? I, you know, as long, I mean, I guess as long as Amazon has them, it's fine, but still, oh yeah, I'm sorry, wrong way, dang it, Tara. Um, but still, you know, it was a bummer to think about them. I was glad to get the deal, but, but at the same time, I'm like, I hope you guys are still gonna be selling these, you know, it's kind of, Cause it just makes it easier when I need them and it's right there. And if, you know, I don't want to wait and I, I'm in the store, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes just getting it from the store is simpler than, oh, Tara, I'm getting irritated. <laughs> I keep touching the wrong things. <sighs> okay. Okay. So yeah, but I got them cheaper. That was nice, at least. You know. Sale price is always fun, right? I'm just kind of collaging around this little guy. Um, you know what I'm thinking? Really quick. Oh, yes. I was gonna say, um, just for fun, to do. Here's my. There we go. I was just gonna put. There we go. It's upside down. Put this here. Because there's just nothing right here, and I thought it might look cute to have this field label right there. Is there anywhere else? Just kind of. Yep, the glue managed to grab in some spots on this. So you've got to be mindful of that. Okay, just in case. Okay, so back to this. And then I think on this last one, I'll do... Um, These two little guys. Let's put them here. Okay. Give them a nice little platform to stand on. I was looking, do I want to backdrop them with anything? Trying to get this on here without getting it all over me. Worse than I already have. I've got it everywhere. Now. Oh, I just realized he's leaning. 
he's leaning on him, but he's leaning on something. Well, I could put one more little piece here that could look like a box. I'm trying to decide which direction this is upright. This is kind of confusing. Eh. Maybe I'll do a different one. I'll do this little guy. I'll do this little guy. Yeah. Okay. Don't get everywhere. Glue everywhere. Just stop being so heavy handed and be careful. Look at that. I did it without making a huge mess. <laughs> Shocking, I know. gonna put anything back here I'll put one of these little guys back here okay that kind of firms it up as well and makes it a little stronger because these tea bags are pretty fragile Not, I mean they're just floppy you know what I mean because it's almost like a cloth journal even though it's tea bag paper it's very clothy I think here. Open these up so they don't seal shut because I know I've got some glue wanting to seep out. Okay, so there's our little booklet and I think what I'm going to do is what I said. I think we're going to do a second video this week and we're going to decorate our little mini tags and put them in our journal, okay? Because I don't want this video to run for an hour and a half, which is what it will end up doing. But as you can see, this is absolutely adorable. If you can get your glue to not, you know, if you can do it without getting your glue everywhere like me, you'll be much better off. But uh, you get the point. Okay, so. It's very cute. Oh, this one's kind of plain. I didn't realize I'd left that so plain. Let's see. Um, she looks like more like she's, I don't know. I don't want anyone sitting down and I don't want them leaning anymore. And I also don't want to use up all of my children in one fell swoop. Now I would use her in here because I absolutely love her and I think she's beautiful, but she's a little tall and I love that one and I don't want to use it up. <laughs> so. Let's see. Nope. I don't know you guys. These three look cute, but I think they're too tall. Yeah. Shoot. They kind of had that look like they were outside, you know, meant to be out. This little guy's sweet. Maybe I'll do him and then do one more little mushroom stamp on this side, I think. And that way there's something on the other side of him, not just him. Where's my foam here? I'm learning what a mess my desk is, you guys. Okay. All right, there we go. So. Put my babies in here. My little babies in here. So don't misplace anybody. Okay. And then I think we'll do a couple of little things on the back behind him. Just for a little something something, you know. And we gotta make sure he has somewhere to stand, of course. 
I do enjoy that. Making sure they have a place to stand. So glad. I think it was Betty who pointed that out to us on our Facebook group. And then I watched, uh, what's his name? Carrie, the crafter. Yeah. And saw his thing and I was like, okay, yeah, I love that. <laughs> so it's, it's, I call it mine now. Okay. That's the last props I'll probably give you guys. <laughs> uh, I do. I love doing that. Just fun. Just fun. Build a little picture next to him here. Some things in the collage. I love to collage. I spent the morning collaging. I, I think, yeah, I posted, yeah, it's what I mentioned, that video. It was basically collaging and then uh, some paint and different stuff in my art journal. And it was fun and I had a great time doing it. Pressing this little guy down and all right. So we are going to finish this little baby off, off um, probably tomorrow. Okay. So I will film the rest of the process and we'll do the tags, the little tags and and uh, or or little cards, whatever you want to call them, our little tea bag cards. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you try it. It was fun. Uh, it's not nearly as difficult as I probably made it look. It's my first time doing one. So um, it wasn't difficult. Uh, just a little bit tedious. It's small and you know me with small things. But as you can see, it is rather adorable. So and it's a, it'll be a cute little addition to our journals. And when we get these tags in and you have your little your little file folder thingy up here, pulling them out, you'll see. It's going to be cute. All right, you guys. I love you. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for being with me. And God bless.